I'm Jake Davis or JD Scuba and I'm an underwater videographer, I'm a marine biologist and today I've got a really exciting product to be taking a closer look at and that is the Power Ray by Power Vision and this is a really exciting underwater drone that stands out from the rest of them on the market and it has loads of different features that I really want to take a closer look at and also showcase what it's like underwater especially with the 4K camera that it's got on the front. So let's take a closer look at this. So the Poweray by PowerVision is a really exciting recreational drone. So for the Poweray PowerVision, it comes in two different packages. So first of all, the package, which is the Wizard package, comes with everything and it comes with a big card case, more like a suitcase, which stores all your equipment and additional accessories together. And then the Poweray Explorer, and that doesn't come with a hard suitcase, but it comes with more of a, a softer case, but it comes with less accessories too. Um, and a smaller internal memory. But that's great if you're doing a lot more traveling or you don't want to be carrying as much of the equipment as you would do with the Powerway Wizard. And between the Wizard and the Explorer, the Wizard also comes with a much longer tethered cable. So this comes up with a 70 meter cable, whereas the Explorer comes with only a 50 meter cable. So you just lose that little bit extra depth and distance that you can explore with between the two. But uh, equally, it's a good length cable. That means you can really go into quite a distance away from the shore or the boat, depending where you're deploying your drone from. So to propel the drone forward, it's got two thrusters at the back, and that can push the drone up to four knots in speed. Um, if there's a place with current, it can actually just push you through there a bit more, you're not fighting it too much. So you can also position the drone into some a bit more turbulent waters. For positioning the drone vertically in the water, it has a thruster here in the middle, and that just allows you to then pick up your depth go down and also come back up as well. So really nice, neat selection of thrusters it's got and also kicks enough power so you can get four knots of speed out of it. Then to my personal favorite part of it, being an underwater videographer, is then to the front where the camera is positioned itself. So this is a 4K Ultra HD camera it uses with 12 megapixels. And that's a great camera to be using too. Um, and just to get that quality when you're exploring new places, you can see that properly and not being too grainy. To then set the power rate to exploring under the water, it's really straightforward. So your umbilical then connects to here, where the umbilical then will connect to your base station here, which will connect to the Power Vision Plus app wirelessly. It's a really neat bit of technology to do that so you can step away from the edge where you're operating from. The app itself is very much like other drone apps, so it's got all your visuals and all your cues and all your information about your dive on the app itself and then when you as soon as you record footage it goes to the cache in there too and also stored internally on the hard drive of the power ray so you can access it later on and when i was setting all this up for the first dive it went really smoothly the only thing was to make sure you know what the password is for the base when you are setting it up um, apart from that it was really easy to do and really easy to then look at the screen and see what you were doing. But for controlling the power ray itself, you do that through the controller. And then the mount at the top then is where your phone or a tablet can go so you can visualize where you're going. And the controller itself is great. It's got all the buttons that you need in accessible places. The toggles then are really smooth. And if you've flown a drone before, it feels very much like flying a drone. However, it does take a bit of time to get used to the control of positioning yourself in the water. Something that took a while, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes second nature to you. So what's really exciting about the Power Ray Vision is that it comes with a few extra add-ons, and one of these is the Power Seeker Fish Finder that just connects at the bottom of the Power Ray itself. And this is a really exciting additional tool that the Power Ray offers, where it provides a sonar view of below the surface up to 230 feet and also provides information on depth and temperature too. Information that really does provide quite a lot of 
insight into what's occurring under the water. And you can use this tool for many reasons if you're going out fishing. Also, if you just want to seek out new locations or look at new spots, it's a great way of doing that, combining that with the sonar and then diving down to depth to then look at it through the 4K footage itself. So these additional elements are really, really quite exciting. Um, and these additional elements are really exciting and what makes the drone even more powerful um, as a tool to explore the oceans themselves. So if I'm controlling the power ray itself through a controller and a tablet, the other way that I mentioned that you can use the power ray in a really cool way and really feel like you're going for a dive in this underwater drone is through using the VR head goggles, which they use the Zeiss ones. And again, it makes viewing and controlling the drone a lot easier when you've got yourself in a headset and you can just feel like you're making the better movements. Whereas sometimes when you're on a tablet or a phone, it's a lot more difficult to try and get those precise movements. So the fact that the Powerway Wizard comes with a headset does make it a lot better. And personally, I think it's a great way of exploring the underwater. Because if you can't get in there yourself, then using a drone, or especially with the footage that comes out of this, it's really worth doing. So yeah, really exciting to see that these, this power rate has so much to offer. So the time I've spent exploring underwater with the power rate has been incredible. And yeah, it's such a versatile tool. Um, with the 4K camera, it's definitely something that makes it more applicable. Um, if you're searching in new locations. With the lights, they can be a bit too close together. So if you're in places where there is a bit of sediment or particulate in the water, it does create a bit more backscatter just because of the position of the light, but it's nothing major to it. It could just be tweaked, um, but overall the footage is still really good quality and it gets to see what is below that surface. And all these different add-ons that Powerray comes with, um, especially the Powerray Wizard, um, and the hard case that it also comes with is perfect. Um, and yeah, it just allows you to see the world, the underwater world in a different way. And you don't have to get in and explore through the diving gear or snorkeling gear straight away. You can have a sneak peek of a place where you want to find out a bit more before getting in. Or if you want to adventure further into the deep areas where you don't tend to see often, it's a great way to do that because then it gets to these depths, especially this power wizard that comes with a 70 meter cable. So if you've got a bit of current, you can get into those places um, a little easier and just fight that a little bit more, which is really great. Um, I know, yeah, just the use, setting it up, everything I've been really thoroughly enjoyed and I definitely recommend if you could get hold of a Powerway, if it's the Powerway Explorer, if you want to do a bit more traveling with it or the Powerway Wizard, if you want to use the different elements, then I definitely recommend getting hold of one of these drones and trying it out yourself and exploring your own coastline because the coastline on your doorstep is full of so much incredible diversity. So by using the drone first, you may then want to go and explore the coastline a little bit more by scuba or snorkeling too. I can't wait to take it out in some more locations, try it even more, and just show people more of what these recreational drones can do because the market now is an amazing place to get some of these drones and I had recommend the Power Ray. And a huge thanks for Power Vision for supplying the Power Ray underwater drone. And if you want to find out more about their products, head over to their website and just see what other gadgets they've got. And thank you again for watching this episode on the PowerVision Powerray Underwater Drone. And I hope you enjoyed. And please remember to like and subscribe and share these videos. And I hope to see you again soon.